Listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Myself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hackers broke in. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay? All right. I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network logs. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, We'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Touch. 
signal is still too weak and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes. The nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was open too soon. But this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! Be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, Dead. Oh, Ross. May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls. We're pregnant. 
Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Philip, Kenmore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? <laughs> Stop your twaddle! Hey! Quiet, Open you! Open this gibbet! Hey! Oi! Open Stop this gibbet! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Hold a moment. You won't say just all the same. Have you heard any news about Pierre Ivan? <laughs> Stand still. Hello! Help me, damn it! I got him in my sight! <laughs> He's a slippery bastard! <laughs> 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 I 
Captain McCordy. He's not about. Discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Don't be! Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends. Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. 
No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. You're all right. Should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? What happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? sensible. You haven't earned this, but they suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway.
Bring a bottle. I teach him color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one-fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! Calm, little puppy. And slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it's better to be a commander than a common man! was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of the last ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal, for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite no more than two years! You promised me! You left! When I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline! Please! Just let me do this! Everything you do, I'll spy, Edward! It's not spite that's driving me, Mary! It's courage! Courage for what man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you I can handle this. Lout! Always tearing down when you could be building things up. Or building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I'm gonna head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. 
After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be chuffed to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Aye, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then 